following the trail of Jack the Ripper. 1888. In the foggy streets of London's East End, a monster appears. He comes out at night, slits the throats of his victims professionally, and leaves all five mutilated on the street and disappears into the night. Every victim is a woman from the lowest class, homeless whores, often addicted to booze. More than a century has passed since. Jack the Ripper, as the murderer was called, was never found. But today we return to those foggy autumn days of 1888. Together with the Ripper, we sneak through the scarcely lit streets of East End, where we are taken by surprise by threatening shadows and mysterious footsteps. We follow the trail of blood, the trail of Jack the Ripper. Our macabre journey begins at Oldgate East Station, somewhere near the middle of your map, on the crossroads between Whitechapel High Street and Commercial Street. We take Commercial Street and go straight on for quite a while. We pass Wentworth Street, Thrall Street and Fashion Street. The whole area you see on the map is East End, the London neighbourhood where the poorest of the poor used to live. Homeless people and halls who often didn't even have a room to stay the night. The ones who did have a roof above their head often had to live with six or more people together in one house. A lot of women roamed the dark streets at night, unaware of the threatening danger. We don't take either of the following two streets to our right, although in between these two streets, on Commercial Street, the first prostitute was killed and terribly mutilated on August the 3rd, 1888. Polly Nichols, 42 years old. We get to a crossroads and turn right, and then we end up at street number one. Passing the first street on our right, we come to a halt. On this exact spot at the back of the hospital, the second ripper vic the second ripper victim was found on September the 9th, 1888, Anne Chapman, a 47-year-old prostitute. The police physician noted down, the killer put his hand on the victim's mouth, slit her throat and cut her belly. Weapon used? A sharp knife. There were no witnesses to this bloody slaughtering. We walk on and take the first street to our right. We follow that street and walk straight on till we get to Whitechapel High Street. We cross the street and walk into Church Lane. Then we take the second street to our left. On our right-hand side, we pass Gower's Walk, Back Church Lane, and finally we turn right and end up in street number two. We walk to the end of this street, and here we stop for a while, because on this spot the third Ripper victim was found on Sunday, the 30th, the 30th of September. 1888. This time the killer worked less thoroughly because apparently he got interrupted in mid-action. This 45-year-old prostitute only had her throat cut. Her name was Elizabeth Stride. The rest of the body remained untouched. Maybe this explains why a second woman became Ripper's victim on the same night of the 30th of September. Obviously his blood his thirst for blood had not yet been satisfied. We take the shortest way to the place of the next murder. We return to Commercial Road and there we now turn left. We take the quickest way to the crossroads where our journey began. There we take a left and walk on. Past Middlesex Street, we take the fourth street on our right and this is street number three. This is where we want to be. In between this street and Duke's place, the fourth victim was found. Kate Eddowes, a 44-year-old prostitute who had just spent the night in a police cell because of public drunkenness. This time the Ripper did finish his work. Kate's neck was practically completely cut through and her intestines were skillfully removed from her body. But let us linger on this lugubrious place no longer. I have to show you something else. We return once again. On Oldgate, Hyde Street, we turn left and walk back. 
Middlesex Street we leave to our left, but we do take the next street on our left, Galveston Street. In this street, the police found, still on the 30th of September, a piece of Kate Eddowes' blood-stained apron. On the wall where the piece of garment was found, the killer left a mysterious message. The Jews are the guilty ones. Because the police feared rows, they quickly had it removed. There were quite a few Jews living in the East End and they were not very much in favour. Even at that time, anti-Semitism was a problem. But let's continue our walk. We walk on until the street which we are walking on now comes to a bigger street. And there we turn right. How did the Ripper get his name? On September the 31st, the day after the double murder, a letter arrived at the police station. I hate whores, and I will keep on ripping them up until I die. Signed, Jack the, River, the Ripper. The letter writer was never found, and probably the letter was not even written by the murderer himself. We take the first street on our right, and... After some time we end up in Commercial Street again. We turn left now and walk until just past a little street on the right called Fashion Street. On the opposite side you find street number four. And just past this street, the 25-year-old Mary Kelly was found on November the 9th, 1888. Never before had the Ripper acted so gruesomely. Kelly's head was cut off her intestines were draped all over the room and the heart was never found again. After this murder, nothing more ever happened. No new murders, no serious suspects, a lot of guesses though. But it gets dark and even now it's not safe to walk around in these neighbourhoods. Come, I will bring you to a safer place. We walk somewhat further on Commercial Street because I have a sneaking suspicion that we are being followed. Quickly take Brushfield Street. Did you hear something? Footsteps in the night. There's no one else here. We quicken our step. Take the first street left. Do you also feel those eyes piercing your back? A hot breath in your neck? I think we'd better run. Too late. Where Crispin Street turns into street number five, in that street you feel the steel blade of a knife. And before it cuts your throat... You put a final cross on the spot where you drop dead. Seemingly, Jack the Ripper still roams the streets of East End.